Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green uh, square D E F G fully confined uh, in a right triangle uh, A B C. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, side length uh, A B of this uh, right triangle uh, is uh, four uh, units, and the area of this uh, triangle uh, A B C has been given to us. Uh, as uh, 24 uh, square units and moreover these uh, points of the green uh, square d e and uh, f uh, lie on this uh, triangle abc and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, square d e f g please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concept uh, review. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, square. As you can see over here, we can see all uh, its uh, angles uh, are uh, 90 degrees uh, each. And this uh, is the diagonal of this uh, square represented by lowercase d. And moreover, this diagonal makes an angle of 45 degrees over here and 45 degrees over here as well. And likewise, this angle is going to be 45 degrees and this is 45 degrees as well. And if we draw another diagonal of the same square, then this diagonal is going to be equal to this diagonal. So this diagonal length is going to be lowercase d as well. And furthermore, these two diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other. In other words, this angle between these two diagonals is going to be 90 degrees and this segment is going to be equal to this segment. That means these two segments are equal and likewise these two other segments are going to be equal as well. And the length of uh, all uh, these four segments is going to be same. And furthermore, the area of this uh, square is going to be equal to d square uh, divided by 2, where d is the diagonal length. And if I drop uh, this uh, perpendicular uh, EF, uh, then we can see that this uh, EF uh, is the diagonal of this uh, green shaded uh, square. And now our task is going to be find the length of this uh, diagonal uh, EF before we could uh, calculate the area of this uh, green square. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC whose this uh, side length uh, is uh, 4 units and the area has been given to us uh, as uh, 24. And now we are going to calculate uh, this uh, base of this uh, right triangle BC. Let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height where our height is uh, 4. Our area is 24 and we are going to calculate uh, this uh, base. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. Area is uh, 24 equals to a half uh, times uh, base I'm going to call uh, lowercase b times height is 4. So therefore we got 24 equals to 2 times b. Let's divide both sides by 2. So therefore our base b turns out to be 12. So thus our this base bc length turns out to be 12 units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these uh, two right triangles. Uh, this uh, smaller right triangle uh, FEC and this uh, bigger right triangle uh, ABC. So therefore we can see that this uh, right triangle FEC is uh, similar to this uh, right triangle ABC according to angle, angle similarity theorem. And we can see that this uh, angle is 90 degrees. Likewise, this angle is 90 degrees uh, as well. And this uh, angle is common to both of these uh, right triangles. So therefore, we are going to have a proportion. In other words, uh, the ratio of Fe and uh, Ec. Let me write down uh, the ratio of uh, Fe divided by Ec is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, AB length divided by BC. 
and now we can see our AB length is 4 and our BC length is 12. So therefore we can write FE divided by EC is going to be equal to 4 divided by 12. And here I'm going to reduce uh, these one a little bit. I'm going to put it uh, 4 over 12 could be written as 2 over 6. I am not going to reduce it all the way to 1 third as you can see in this uh, next step. So we can see that this uh, ratio equals to this uh, ratio. So therefore we can uh, write uh, this one uh, as uh, F E length is going to be equal to 2 times some constant K and uh, E C length uh, is going to be 6 times some constant uh, K and now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, constant K. So therefore our this uh, E C length uh, turns out to be 6 times k and this uh, f e length uh, turns out to be 2 times k and here's our next step i have drawn uh, this uh, diagonal uh, dg as you can see over here and now let's recall once again the diagonals of the square are perpendicular bisector of each other so that means uh, these uh, two diagonals uh, are going to bisect uh, at this uh, 90 degrees and furthermore uh, this uh, segment is going to be equal to this segment and this is going to be equal to this segment likewise equal to this uh, segment and if uh, p is the point at which uh, these uh, diagonals uh, intersect uh, each other and we know that uh, this uh, diagonal ef is uh, 2k then this diagonal uh, dg is going to be 2 times k as well therefore uh, the length uh, dp is going to be 1 times k the half of that one and this uh, length is going to be 1 times k as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, segment uh, dp is going to be equal to this segment uh, be if this uh, segment is 1k then this segment uh, be is going to be 1k as well so therefore we can see that this whole uh, length uh, bc turns out to be 1k plus uh, 6k is going to make uh, 7k uh, and we also know that this uh, bc length uh, is uh, 12 so therefore i can equate uh, 7k equals to 12 so therefore we are ended up with this equation 7k equals to 12 let's divide both sides by 7 to isolate k so therefore our k value turns out to be 12 uh, divided by 7 and we know that the diagonal uh, length uh, of this uh, green square is uh, 2k which is uh, right over here and our k value is 12 uh, divided by 7 so i'm going to replace uh, k by 12 uh, divided by 7 over here so therefore uh, this uh, diagonal length is going to become uh, 2 times uh, 12 uh, divided by 7 means uh, that is going to give us uh, 24 uh, divided by 7 and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equals to d square divided by 2 and in our case our diagonal length d value is 24 divided by 7 so therefore i can write uh, this one as 1 divided by 2 outside and times 24 divided by 7 whole square and we know 24 divided by 7 square is 576 divided by 49. So therefore we can reduce uh, this one and could be written as uh, 288 divided by 49 uh, square units. Uh, the area of this uh, green uh, square. So thus the area of this uh, green uh, square turns out to be a 288 divided by 49 uh, square units. And that could be also written as equal to 5.88 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye